Hello and welcome to this uh, video. As discussed in the previous introduction, we're going to be making um, a comment box um, using, yeah, with, we're basically going to be doing everything. We're going to be making the HTML, we're going to be styling it with CSS, we're then going to be um, extracting the information from the database using PHP and MySQL. Um, then once the actual page is there, we're then going to be using JavaScript and then Ajax to send the request back to the server to insert the comment and then to actually then insert the comment into the comment box as such. Um, so we've got a blank page. Best place to start is a blank page. Um, let's um, proceed. So in this one, uh, we're just going to build the quick layout and then we're going to proceed from there. Okay, so uh, we just want then um, doc type at the top and then followed by HTML and then we want the HTML tags and then we want the head I'm just going to zoom through this quickly and then we're just going to write comment uh, box okay we're going to want to have uh, some of our CSS attached as well so whoops we've got uh, layout um, or layout.css in the CSS folder let's just say rel style uh, sheets and then we want to have two uh, scripts tags in here with text uh, type equals uh, whoops javascript and then the source is then um, js and then we want jquery okay because we're going to be using the jquery library and this is going to close it for us yes it is. let's just copy this to save some time and then put that down there and then we've got we're going to have our script file which is actually going to do a uh, majority of the work. Um, that's pretty much it for there. Okay, let's just budge that over. Let's budge this over. Okay, now let's just make the body of our um, page. Whoops. With body rather than bod. Okay, we're going to make a, a wrapper. Potentially this is going to be um, the inner wrapper. Um, I'll, I'll explain it I'll Explain it shortly. Um, and then we're going to have then the class, uh, the comment wrapper. Okay. And uh, then just up here we'll say then the um, page data. So it's like a fictitious um, page data. Page data is in here so potentially you know someone's commenting on your page data whatever your article is your blog is your whatever it is that's what the person's actually going to be reading in this case it's just going to be a box with page data is in here okay nothing more so let's now just save that so at this point in time just to reduce this down for clarity uh, whoops I like to go along and clean up as I as I work. Otherwise, you can get just totally confused by everything. Okay, let's just clean this up and this up too, and that can go as well. Okay, so we've got wrapper is going to be our main <coughs> outer wrapper, and then page data box, and then comment box. Okay, so let's go to our layout.css and let's add then the wildcard to get rid of any uh, margin zero pixels and padding so any elements that have got any margin or padding on it we're just going to get rid of um, and we're going to say in the sake of this we're going to say font family equals Arial okay um, then we want to say image A first of all just to knock out um, any border equals none and that's the wrong way around we'll say A image so any images with um, that are wrapped with an anchor tag we're going to say border equals none Okay, um, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to say wrapper, and this wrapper is going to be a width of 750 pixels. Now your um, your page could be more, um, but we're going to do width of 750 pixels, and we're going to let our comment box um, then basically auto expand and be the size of that box. So it doesn't matter which box you put this inside; it's always going to be that size as such. Okay, and uh, we're just so we can at least see it, we're going to put. Um, a border of uh, one pixel I'm going to say margin top and then right auto bottom 10 pixels then left auto so we can see it and we're going to do a height for the time being of 600 which we want it to be um, taller than that but just so we can see it so let's come over to our page refresh and there we can see our box um, is being displayed already okay now let's put um, just a, a a background for the body so let's do 
background and I think uh, C7, C7 should be a grey. Okay, that'd be fine. Okay, so we've just got a grey in there. And let's say then the background for our wrapper uh, will just do a solid white. Okay, there we go. All right, just for, for clarity so you can see what we're doing. The, the, the grey in the background is nothing to do with what we're doing. And this is the white in here, which is what we're going to be working with. Okay, so now that we've got that, we now need page data. So let's come here and let's say page uh, data. Okay, uh, I'm going to do width equals auto because we want that to auto expand. Height equals also auto. And actually for the sake of this, let's, say let's do 50 pixels. And um, color for the text we'll just do as um, three sixes. And yeah, that will probably do. And there we go. Oh, let's just, just do a margin on this of 10. Okay, there we go. So now that sits there. And let's let's put a border on the bottom uh, just to show uh, where the box is, yeah? Let's just do a light grey here as well. All right, so let's see that. Now we can see the difference between um, the page data. So potentially now our comment box is going to sit underneath. All right, so all of this data up here would be um, the body of your t of your uh, your website and stuff so that would be the main blog where the people were um, were um, reading and what they the reason what they're visiting the page for and underneath here would then be where the comments can be displayed and can be commented so this is the starting point for our comment box so let's just now push that up a little bit and let's say a comment uh, wrapper the great thing about NetBeans is it, it kind of finds all the classes for you already. Um, now we want to say margin 10, okay, because I want to have it um, sitting in slightly. And we're going to say border one pixel uh, solid. And then once again, we'll just say E1, E1, just to give it a nice uh, color. Okay, height equals auto. And uh, width equals auto as well, because we want it to auto expand. Um, and then let's just put some text in here as well. So let's just, for the sake of this, copy this a couple of times. That'd be fine. Okay, now we can see that we've got this, um, got this box here as well. Okay, so let's add a little bit of colour to it as well. Uh, let's just say four, four, four. So a bit of a darker grey. Okay, there we go. All right, so now that's that's basically um, the the layout to our, our page in the beginning done. I know it doesn't look like much, but at least we've got some form of layout that we want to uh, we want to stick to. So, okay, so what are we on at the moment? Uh, let's now now let's make a uh, a title for our our whoops. Let's come back here. Let's make a nice title for our, our comment box. All right, so to sit inside we can get rid of all of these ASD ASDs and with inside of here let's do an H3 tag and uh, page oh, let's say um, user feedback shall we and then and let's just do then comments list it's going to be a diff in here okay so this is going to be the actual wrapper on the outside then it's going to be the title and then this is actually what's going to hold um, all of the listed comments itself so let's now just and just to keep this um, clear comments title all right so we're not using comments the main thing at the moment we're just going to use comment on on the the outside okay and then comments list is the main the beginning of this basically all right Okay, so comment title. Let's come down here and say comment uh, title, and let's explicitly say that this is E3 as well, uh, H3, and let's make it a height of 40 pixels and a line height of 37 pixels. Font size. I don't know. Let's make it. 14 pixels for the time being and uh, let's say then margin we won't put any margin on the top but because we've made it height 40 um, on the left and right we'll uh, I think 10 is too much 
and like I said we don't need to put any margin on the bottom because we've got height of 40 already and the line height so it's going to stick itself right in the middle and we've only got the, the font size of 14 pixels so we should be fine okay so now let's put another uh, color for it as well and let's say uh, 333 and we want border bottom just for distinction these all these borders are for distinction okay and once again let's do e1 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 okay as you can see there now we've got uh, we've got our border there and i think 333 was a bit too much you know let's try 444 uh, even 555 i think it's fine okay so let's just zoom into this okay so now we've got our um, our title there all right now let's we want to now have our um, comments list done. Now, I'm thinking that we can probably actually just copy this. Probably would be best. Let's knock that down. Put that in there. And let's just say comments list. And let's change height equal to auto. Line height we can dump font size we can keep let's reduce the font size down just to 13 margin left and right color equals 5 margin let's just put a margin completely on it for now lots of margins here I know um, and uh, let's put height on it of 50 in the beginning okay okay so now we've got oh we want a margin on the bottom of that definitely okay there we go alright so sorry I just did that quickly so now we want and we do want a margin on the bottom of that on the comments title as well but you can see the two boxes are touching each other okay now i would preferably put the the uh, put the margin on the comments list because the title we might use again therefore we don't want it to like collide with other other things so we're just going to put um, a margin on the comments list box as well of 10 all right so we're doing a margin top of 10 pixels a margin right of 5 pixels and a margin bottom of 10 pixels and margin left, left of ten pi uh, 5 pixels then a border of 1 pixels all the way around okay okay so now we have this okay um, that's basically where all of our our comments are going to go and also our comment box as well where someone's going to be able to comment themselves now it might look rather big on here but potentially this comment area isn't that big um, I mean I would possibly reduce it down even further than have something onto the right hand side um, you could have some advertising on the right hand side because people don't tend to do massive comments they tend to do like two or three line comments so you always have to think about space okay so now that we've done we've done this we actually need to make up um, some form of um, way of listing out the comments itself I'm going to do that in the next tutorial um, I know at the moment it looks very very nothing but that's the whole point of us building it step by step is building it up um, to do it now um, I'm, I'm guessing if you're watching this then you know you, you you want to know how how it's done from start to finish that's why uh, we're doing this but I'll see you in the next tutorial okay bye bye